stay keen. Enjoy that honey. Aussie, G'day kids, Aussie here. Now just before we get stuck into today's episode, if you haven't seen it already, our merchandise is now live on our website, aussieforkids.com, where you can get all of your favorite Aussie items, like the Aussie hat, made especially for kids' heads, or the mini replica Aussie tea. How cool is that? All for our mini Aussie fans. And if you love Aussie that much, you can even get three things in a combo, a hat, a shirt, and a sweatband, all on our website. But one of my favorite items is this one, the Aussie socks with this little touch here. Stay keen, kids, as always. Available right now on our website, aussieforkids.com. In the meantime, kids, enjoy this episode and stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi! Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day Aussie. 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 Well, today, we're going to find out all the information about bees, how they make honey, and what else they do from this man, Dunk's Honey. So, let's go along and meet Dunk and check it all out. I'm buzzing with excitement. Let's go, kids. Here he is, kids. I've found him. You must be Dunk. Oh, g'day. How you going? How are you, Dunk? I'm Aussie. G'day, Aussie. Dunk, nice. how are you? No, oh, mate, I'm great. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thanks so, for having us along here today. Now, I believe that you are a bit of a fan of, of bees. You've got a few bees of your own. I sure And you're do. going to show us a beehive today? Maybe I, teach us a few facts about bees? I certainly will, Aussie. Yeah. Most certainly. Let's go to the hive. All okay. right, I'll follow you, Dunk. Right up. Come on, kids, let's go. Okay, Aussie, so All here right. is a Langstroth beehive, they call. Okay. So okay. what we're gonna do, this box here is called the brood box. All right. That's where the queen lives, and up here is where all the honey is stored. Okay. okay. So let's open this top one up, all and right. we'll have a look to see how much honey's in here. I can't wait. There's a little batch here. And that's just to stop the wind blowing the lid off. Okay. Now, if you would like, Ozzy, just to put a bit of smoke when I lift this up, just under the lid. Okay. That's it. And we'll see over here. You see you've got a few bees here. This is yeah. nice, like they call a, a, a bee blanket, just to okay. keep them warm. Now, as I pull this back here, you'll see all the bees Whoa, inside. Oh, look at that. See that? Wow. So, so they're there. busy working away there. That's right. Doing their job making honey. That's right. So they're in there making honey. And like I said, this is where the honey is stored up in the top. Okay. Okay. So we'll come back to that in a little bit later. What I'll do is I'll take this bo top box off and we'll look down below. Okay. Okay. Now while you're doing that, there's a lot of bees in there. What's a, a big group of bees called? A colony of bees. A colony of bees. Colony of bees. That's right. All right. And you said that there's a, a brood box down here and you said something about a queen bee. Is Cr there, how many queen bees are in there? There's only colony? one queen bee per one. hive. That's right. Wow. One queen bee, and it's about a thousand drone bees, which is the which are boy bees. Okay, male so bees. boy bees are drone bee. The yep. female. The female bees here. The, th these are called worker bees. Worker okay? bees. Okay. And they're all females. Okay. okay so all so, the worker bees are females. The 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 guy bees. The, the drone male bees. bees are drones, and there's one queen. And there's one queen in all there. Right. Okay. So. Let's open this next one up. Now, right. I'll, I'll get that smoke again. So where do you want this one? Just under, under, here. under here again, All right? And put a bit of smoke in there. Okay, just to let them know that yep. we're, we're coming we're in. Coming in. And it's all okay. And I'll put this aside. Look at these guys. Oh, these girls, actually. That's the, the female worker bees, yeah? That's right. So, this here is called a queen excluder. Oh, okay. So, see how the, these bees here, they can walk through it, but the queen bee, she's just a little bit bigger okay. and she can't fit through. Okay, so the queen bee's down there somewhere. She's just going to leave down here. We're going to see if we can find her, are we? Okay, we sure will. Okay, 
Okay, Aussie, we're just going to try and have a look for our queen bee. Okay. Now, she's a little bit bigger than the right. rest of them, right? So, if we have a look over here. Is she the same colour? She is roughly the same colour. But she's just bigger. Oh, and there she is. See if you can spot her. Where's Queenie? She's around here. Hey yeah. Is that her is. there? That's the big... her there. Wow. That's her there, right? So, she's looking for a cell to lay an egg in. Okay. And then produce another queen, right? So, she spends her days... Laying eggs. Laying that's, eggs. That's right. And what they'll do... They'll come and feed her when she's hungry. See, she's looking for something to eat. And, and what, what they're going to do, this bee here will give us some food from her proboscis and a little bit of honey to keep her going. That's right. So Very let's good. open this lid up and see if there's any honey in here, Ozzy. Do you need any more smoke? Yeah, a little bit of smoke All in right. here again. I'm well, glad I can be of assistance you, to you. You're a big here. help. Dunk. Okay, this? I'll take this out. Now, what I want you to do, Ozzy, is I'll shake those bees off. Oh. I want you to look inside here to see if there's any honey. Now, I think these two here might have some honey. So, you can have the honours by doing this. I'd love to. You use this here like a hammer, and yeah. you just put it under like that, and then you lift it up. All right. Okay. So you want me to pick this, this one yep. up? Yep. And as you pick it up, you put your finger there. Oh, I got it. Yep. And you do it from the other end as well. Okay. And bring it up slowly, and you can see how much honey you might have there. Oh, listen to that noise. Wow. See all that? That's, that's wow. all the honey in there. So all that honeycomb is full that's of right. that beautiful, sweet nectar. That's right. And see how this is a little bit lighter in colour and this is darker? Yeah. That's because they've got the honey in this area from a tree that has light nectar. Wow. And this here is from a darker area. So particularly trees have been in, in flower. That's what that's what causes that. That is amazing. Okay. All right, so we, so what's the next step? We're going to take this so somewhere. So we can take this back and we can, what they call it, extract it or spin it out. Yeah. And then we can eat it. Straight away. Straight away. So oh, let's do that. Oh, oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shake these bees off. This okay. doesn't hurt. Okay. We shake them off because we don't want to take any bees back with us. All right. Right, okay. So, so we've got these two frames full of honey. They're full of honey, Aussie. So let's go back now and let's extract all that honey out and you can take it away for your toast. How's that? <laughs> Sounds good to me. All right, let's go. Let's go and spin it. Let's go, kids. So next we're going to get some So some now, now we, what we want to do, we want to take off the wax capping. So you'll see here, when the bee says this honey is perfect, they put a little wax capping on the front of it, right? Wow. See, I'm going to ask you to do a very important job, and that's just, with this tool here, see it's a little, it's very sharp, so just be careful with it. Okay. You gently push in here, just enough to break the wax capping, just like I'm going to do now. And you can oh. see, all right, you'll get the feel of it after a little while, and you see how a bit of honey's running out. But what we want to do, we want to break that wax capping, so then when we put it in this extractor oh, here, it will then spin out. Oh, yeah. Okay, yum. so do you want to have a turn of that? Oh, I'd love to. I'll hold on to this for you. I'm going to have to control myself um, yep. and not dip into it and start eating it, don't, we'll because it looks for you. very tasty. Yep. So, so it takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get there. That's it. Oh, look at that. Perfect. <laughs> right, and you just do that all the way across? That's right. Now, it's very hard and very difficult not to taste that honey when it gets That's there. right. I'm, I'm controlling myself here, Dunk, but I'm, I'm very tempted to dip in and just have a good old taste of that. Do I need to go, is that okay? Oh, that's going to be pretty good. And yeah, then and there's then one more here we can do. Yep. Oh my goodness. That's it. Down it comes. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Oh. So that's one side. Now there's another side we can do. Okay. Okay. Can spin that over. Yep, and we can do this side as well. Wow. That's right. That's, that's it, that's probably plenty enough now. Excellent. Right, I was I'll put this in here, or you can come and put this in here for okay. me. Okay. I'll let you do the first one. You can show right me how on. it's done, Dunk. All right. So now we just put it up here like this and we put it straight into the extractor. Okay. And in it goes. Now, one thing with honey, everything's sticky. Yeah. And you're always having a little lick. <laughs> so 
we do the next one. Another one. Yes. Okay. And that just is going to even up the extracting process. Okay. 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 That's it. You can see the bees smelling this here. One little lady's just turning up here. A worker bee. Yep. She's saying, what's going on with my honey? So bees obviously make a lot of honey. Do they eat the honey themselves usually? They what do, do they do in nature usually? They I mean, do. We don't take it from them. No, they do. So what it is... Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, we'll just turn that over now. So what they do is they will keep the honey for themselves and they will feed their hive with it. All right. I'm doing here, well, all we've done here today, we've just taken a little bit of honey. Right. We're not hurting them. They've got plenty of food left in their, right. in their hive. We're just taking what they call the excess honey for ourselves. All right. And once we finish spinning this out, we will put these frames back in the hive and they will clean it up. Okay, now way. put the biggest end against here. So that, that it, that's, that's it. All right. In it goes, yep, into the basket. Okay, that's it. That's in there perfectly. Now, we can set that up for you. Now, do you need a rag for your hands? Because like I said, everything is just sticky. It's sticky, okay. but if I was to lick that, that's okay. Yeah? That's fine. That's exactly right. I'm going to do the same. Mm -mm -mm. So you can lick honey straight out of the hive. Definitely. Definitely. That's perfect. That's exactly how Mother Nature has it intends her honey to come out. Okay? Unbelievable. So now they're extracted, you just put one hand here. And I'm just going to leave the lid off, but just be careful you don't put your hand in there because this will spin here in a minute. And then with this hand, you then turn it slowly. And as okay. it does that, It'll throw the honey out to the side. Right. Okay. And then that's all going to collect down the bottom. That's will. That's right. All right. Okay. Now how fast do I go down? Just go as fast as you need to go. That's it. Oh, look at that honey See, spinning. It's coming out now. That's all your honey coming out. And it'll hit the side of the extractor and slide down. And then we'll get it at the end. Right. Oh, so that's that one way. Now. Let's slow it down, and that's one side of the honeycomb frame. And what I'm going to do is take this up here, yeah. and I'm going to turn it around, and we'll spin out the honey from the other side. Right. All right. So then that goes. And this way. Mm, you can smell that honey, can't you? Well, I can. Yep. And this is why. Soaking our mates, little bees. And that's why you're seeing a few bees turn up. Okay? Right. Right. Okay. So spin around. Yep. Starting to rock, maybe I should slow it down a bit. Thought like you've done this before, Ozzy, you're a natural. Well, I haven't, but I'm just listening to your instructions there, Dunn. Okay. Righto, that's perfect. That looks like it's pretty good. Okay, so there's a little door at the front here, Ozzy, yep. we'll lift up. If you can hold that container, and as we watch it, you'll see it pour out. And go straight into here. Yep, and it will come out, and you'll see there will be little bits oh, of wow. and things. Okay, all so that's that... doing is just filtering those wax out. And see down the bottom how it's coming through now? Oh, yum. That's it. Oh, yum. And there's your honey coming through. Big blob of wax coming through. Yeah. Whoop. Oh, look at that, kids. I feel like just putting my mouth under it. Ah. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yum. There you go. That's a lot of honey. Mate, it seems, isn't it? So, that's about a kilo of honey in that little container there now. Wow. Right? And each of one of those frames hold about three and a half kilos of honey each. Wow. And if so you... they, they weren't quite full, those frames, no, is they, that right? They, they, were, they were close, but they weren't quite full. Right. Okay, so now that's getting pretty full, so I'll just use this bigger container here to catch the rest yeah, of the drips. Yeah, okay. Right? Oh, look at that. So there's your honey. Now, So that's, that's almost ready for the store, Dunk. That is, that is definitely ready for the store. You can grab your lid over there and you can yeah. put the lid on it. And then, that's it. And don't forget, we need to put a Dunk's Honey label on that. Oh, you bet. That, that, could be anyone's, that could be anyone's honey. That's, that's it. you. That's, 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 that's Dunk's Honey. That's Dunk's Honey. It should say Dunk's and Aussie's Honey, just for today. That's for today, definitely. <laughs> definitely. All right, so we just whack that on the front. So put it on the front. Can I do the honours? You certainly can, Aussie. 
So I'm learning how to package honey as well. That's right, you've got an end-to-end -end process they call that. And look at that. There you go. That's ready for the store. Definitely, so you can go back now, you can say, I've been to Dunk's Honey and I extracted that honey, I saw where it come from, we spun it out, we filtered it, we jarred it up, and now I've got it ready to go to school. Straight from nature, into the, into the container, and yep. straight on our food. Straight onto the food, that's right. Off no food. other ingredients at all going into all. that. Nothing at all. You saw it all there, kids. Yep. That is that is amazing. It's it's quite phenomenal that bees can make this for us. Yep. That's as it. well as provide as keep food. our fruit looking good. That's exactly right, Aussie. Isn't amazing. it amazing? Definitely. Amazing. So pollination and honey. And honey. Yep. That's right. And looking after the environment as well. That's right. Because there's a lot of other plants out there that we don't get fruit and vegetables from. Yes. And they're supporting that environment as well. Right. Okay. So they're, they're making trees stronger. So the birds have a better environment to live in. And they have all the animals that live in the, in the bush as well, like your kangaroos, your, your echidnas, your wombats, your koala bears. All these things rely on a pollinator. Amazing. And the biggest pollinator is the honeybee. Absolutely amazing. So I've learned a lot today here. Okay, Aussie, um, excellent. So thank you stuff. very much for sharing the information with me. And I'm sure all the kids at home or in their classroom watching this today know a whole lot more about honey and a whole lot more about bees and the important role they play because of you. Thank you, Aussie. So and thank you for coming to visit me today. Thanks I very really much. enjoyed the time. I appreciate it, Dunks. Okay. Thanks, all right. Mate. You I take reckon... that off with you. Is that for me? That is. You can take that away. Yep, yeah, for sure. Beauty. You take it away. All right, away. thanks again, Dunks. Okay, mate. Kids, I hope you've enjoyed it today. We'll see you on our next episode. Until then, stay keen and enjoy that honey. If you haven't already, make sure you get a great up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids, and until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of